Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. I double click on default.html page. I right click on default.html page open with the notepad. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss two important attributes of table cells. Those are row span and call span. Let's discuss. Before that, I want to create a table something like this. To create a 4x4 table in Microsoft Office, we go to insert, we go to table, we select 4 by 4 and we click. You can see that we got 4 by 4 table and I increase the height by dragging it down. You can see that I got a 4 by 4 table. To create same 4 by 4 table, we are going to use table tag. Here I put some values like 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 just to show that there is a information in these cells. I put zeros in all cells. To create the same table, what I do in notepad, I use the table tag, T-A-B-L-E table opening tag, then I say closing table tag, in the table tag I need a TR tag, then I say closing table row tag, in the table row I am going to create a TD, every TD has zero as the information, closing TD, copy that and paste it down, paste it down, paste it down. Now we have a table, one row has four cells. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see that we have 0, 0, 0, four columns are there, but we can't see any border and all. Let me set the border, B-O-R-D-E-R, border equal to one, file, save, go to browser, refresh. And also I do not want any cell spacing. So here I say C-E-L-L-S-P-A-C-I-N-G. Cell spacing equal to zero. File, save, go to browser, refresh. Okay. Next thing is I want to increase the width. W-I-D-T-H. Width is equal to 640 pixels. File, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that 640 pixel width set to the table. Similarly, I want to add three more rows. So I need to copy this table row from here to here. One, file, save, go to browser, refresh. I got one more row. Control V, file, save, go to browser, refresh. I got one more row. Control V, file, save, go to browser, refresh. I got one more row. That is good. Also, I want to increase the height. To increase the height, I need to use the height attribute, right? I use height attribute. I hit enter here. I say H E I G H T height is equal to 480 pixels. I use file, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that height is increased. It looks similar to this, right? Now what I want, I want to merge these four cells. To merge these four cells in Microsoft Word, what we do, we write, we select first four cells, then we right click and say merge cells. You can see that it has merged the cells and it has put 0, 0, 0 here by enter. I don't need that. I put only one zero. You can see that it has merged all the four cells. What happened here actually means it has took the first cell, okay? It stretched it to four columns and it has removed second, third and fourth cells. Try to understand. We are going to perform the same operation. To do same thing in HTML, what we do, we go to first row, we go to first cell, we are going to stretch it to how many cells? Four cells. How do we stretch? We use call span option. Call span in double quotation, you should give how many columns it should span. One, two, three, four columns. So I give here four. Then I must and should remove these TDs. Otherwise, what happens? I will show you. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that the below rows are squeezed and uh, this first cell of the first row is stretched to four columns and we have all these three cells available. If we don't remove this behavior we see. So what I do, I remove this, these three. 
I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. Now we have the desired output, whatever we expect we are getting. So first thing what you need, tell how many columns it should span, then total call span minus one cells you need to remove. Let's go further. I want to merge these four cells. So I select, right click, merge cells. You can see that we merged and I put it here just one zero. To perform this operation, we have to follow the same thing, right? I think you people know now what to do for this. To do, I need to locate the fourth row, go to the first cell, say call span. How many columns I should span? I should mention four. Then I have to delete these three cells. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we have call span. Now what I want? I want merge these two cells. I select these two cells, right click and say merge cells. You can see that these two cells got merged and we we want same behavior. Now what actually happened here means here browser went to the second row. This is the second row. It went to the second row. It took the first cell of the second row and it stretched down by one cell. And what it has done? It has went to the third row and deleted one cell that is first cell of the third row. We are going to perform the same operation. Let's go here. To perform the same operation, I have to go to the second row, first cell. To stretch it down or row wise, we are going to use row span. And we should mention how many rows it should span. It should span two rows. Then I have to go to the third row. I have to delete the first cell. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Check that out. I got to perform the same operation maybe over here. What I have to do, take an example. I select this, right click and say merge cells. What I have to do now? I have to go to the second rows, last cell which is available. I have to row span by two and delete last cell from the third row. So I go to the second rows, last cell. I say here row span, R-O-W-S-P-A-N, row span, how many cells? Two cells. Then I have to delete the last cell, third rows, last cell I have to delete. I deleted that one. File, save, go to browser and say refresh. You can see that I got the desired output. And also you can see all cells text aligned to middle. Vertical alignment is set to middle. If I want, I can set the vertical alignment to top by adding the V align attribute. Here I can go and say V A L I G N align equal to top. I can copy this V align top and paste for all cells. Give a space. Here also. Control V. Control V. Control V. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we got exact output as we have in the Microsoft Office. Hope you guys have understood how you can work with the row span and call span, how you can get the desired layout. For this tutorial, this much is enough guys. In the next tutorial, we get more information on HTML. For more benefits, please subscribe, like, comment and share. See you in the next tutorial. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing.